I'm Maggie Bell, Assistant Curator at the Norton Simon Museum. This video series highlights works of art related to the exhibition All-Consuming Art and the Essence of Food, which explores a range of ways that artists depicted food and the act of eating, from production and distribution to anxieties about overconsumption or moments of food scarcity. Today, I'll discuss a painting that interprets experiences of hunger and the moral lessons that could be communicated through such images. This painting by the Spanish artist Bartolomé Esteban Murillo depicts an Augustinian friar and later archbishop named Thomas of Villanueva, who distributes alms or charitable support to needy men, women, and children. Thomas, who lived from 1488 to 1555, was celebrated for his charity. He was made a saint in 1658, only a few years before Murillo finished this painting which was one of four that originally composed a large altarpiece commissioned by the Monastery of St. Augustine in Seville. As a whole, the altarpiece represents episodes from Thomas's life, especially his good deeds, and was meant to inspire similar actions on the part of the viewer. Here, Thomas appears in his archbishop's robes, extending several coins towards a kneeling man. He's part of a group of individuals seeking assistance, sheltered under an archway that opens onto a view of a large church. The built environment emphasizes urban poverty, perhaps to encourage the nobles and merchants who held most of Seville's wealth to support charitable causes in the city. At the time that Murillo created this painting, the once prosperous Seville was struggling. In the early 17th century, the city was a significant Spanish port receiving and distributing goods from the colonized Americas and profiting from transatlantic trafficking of enslaved people. This income literally dried up when the city's primary waterway, the Guadalquivir River, became too silted to navigate. In the 1640s, 50s, and 60s, Seville was struck with a succession of plague outbreaks, crop shortages, and revolts as the city's wealth gap increased. Murillo, who spent his life in Seville, responded to these events in his paintings. Here, he represents the physical effects of poverty, evident, for instance, in the lean body of the seated man with the bandaged head, and the boy with his arms crossed over his stomach, perhaps a humble gesture of gratitude or an indication of his hunger. The boy huddles next to his mother, who cradles a baby. Blending the realistic with the visionary, Murillo contrasts this family with the allegorical figure of Charity who hovers above St. Thomas, represented as a woman breastfeeding three babies. The ease with which she feeds her children from her own body, which parallels Thomas's selfless generosity, throws the needs of the mother and children below into greater relief. In his non-religious paintings, Murillo tended towards positive, if fanciful takes on these difficult subjects. He often depicts Seville's poorer citizens enjoying the perceived freedom of street life in images of children eating delicious-looking food. In The Grape and Melon Eaters, two boys lock eyes while greedily inhaling bunches of grapes and a juicy melon. They are dressed similarly to the boy in the Simons painting, wearing loose white shirts over cropped pants, but instead of clutching their stomachs, their cheeks are full of fresh fruit. Satisfying hunger was a driving plot point in popular stories known as picaresque novels, which revolved around the adventures of poor children and would have been familiar to Murillo and his patrons. Although he was a sought-after artist in his own lifetime, Murillo's paintings have fallen in and out of fashion. They have been criticized for being overly sentimental, with warm tones and cloud-like brushstrokes that soften brutal realities. But considering that many of the original viewers of the Simons painting did not personally experience poverty, perhaps this altruistic image encouraged a wealthy audience to see their fellow citizens as worthy of care. All-consuming art and the essence of food 
delves into how visual art shapes relationships with the things we eat. Among other themes in the exhibition, the subject of hunger moved artists to use confrontational or sympathetic approaches to convey experiences of food deprivation. Murillo's St. Thomas of Villanueva is an example of the latter, idealistically promoting the uplifting power of giving. <laughs>